please stand for the pledge. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Carlsbad. We have a great show planned for you today. We're going to have Alessia live with Principal Redfield, and we're also going to have Ivana live on the Magic Window. Brody, what else are we going to have? You're also going to have AJ live with Robotics and Tava on location at the pier. Sounds like a great show. Let's get it started. I'm Isabel Hollingsworth. And I'm Brody Burson. And CHS TV starts right now. Welcome back. We're going to have a story on a mo local mountain biking race. Grady produces this piece. In the green hills of Lake Hodges, right above San Diego, Victor Sheldon, an event organizer, hosts a race that has been growing rapidly over the past couple of years. We started the Quick and Dirty Races in 2013. And we just felt like San Diego needed a, uh, a mountain bike race series that was fun and affordable and, you know, always was changing and making new courses and new venues. You know, it has grown, especially the kids racing has grown tremendously. And that's really what, you know, seeing those little kids with smiles on their face and, you know, just having a blast. That's really gives, gives me a lot of good feelings. But it's not only due to Victor that these events have been growing so fast as mountain biking has seen a massive upshift in popularity in recent times. Uh, somebody comes that's never raced a bike and they just, they basically, you know, the week, a week later they're back, you know, a year later they're back and they have a new bike. They have, you know, all this new, sort of, uh, you know, appreciation for life. And so it's basically, we're changing their lives into something that they didn't know that they had and giving them a little bit of competition to go along with it. Reporting for CHS-TV from Lake Hodges, California. I'm Grady Kunoff. Thank you for that story. Switching topics today, there is a boys water polo away game versus Bishop. Varsity is at 3.30 p.m. and JV is at 5. Attention new students, ASB will be hosting a new student lunch today at lunch in room 5004. Stop by for some pizza and to meet new students. Now we have Alessia in the studio talking with Miss Redfield. Alessia? Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm here with Miss Redfield to talk about this starting school year. So how has everything been going so far? So far, so good. I really feel like this is our smoothest start that we've had in a long time. All the students have shown up. Great to see the eager smiles. And really walking around campus in the classroom, students are following the Lancer profile, which we talked about at our assembly the other day. And we're just expecting our Lancers to embody themselves within the school culture, having, showing respect, picking up trash, and just doing the right thing and really representing Carlsbad High, not only at Carlsbad High School, but within our community. Awesome. And as we all know, there's a new cell phone policy this year. So can you tell me a bit about that as well? There is a new cell phone policy and it's not just Carlsbad High. It's a Carlsbad Unified School District policy. And really it's all about instructional time. Cell phones are put away during instructional time and they're not allowed to have, students aren't allowed to have their cell phones unless it is teacher directed in class, maybe for a little break or passing period, uh, lunch or break. But what I will say is I'm super, super impressed of all the students. I walk in classrooms and cell phones are put away. Students are learning, they're engaged, and they're having good conversations without being distracted. Awesome. Do you have any shout outs? I do have a shout out. How about to my office staff up in the office? They're an amazing group of team that we have. Perfect. Thank you for coming on. I'll send it back to Izzy. Thank you, Alessia and Principal Redfield. Auditions for the fall play Treasure Island will be held today after school. Make sure to get an audition script from room 502 
at lunch today if you're interested. Are you interested in engineering, STEM, and robotics? The CHS robotics team are holding an informational meeting on Tuesday, September 3rd at lunch. No prior experience is necessary, just drop in. Next, Leah is live with Frosh Dance. Leah? Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm Leah Blair, live with the Royals dance team to talk about their upcoming events. So I heard you guys have a football game on Friday. How have you guys been preparing for that? We've been preparing for them by having super long practices as well as conditioning our bodies so that we have good stamina. Yeah, and what are you most excited for this Friday? Showing spirit for our football teams and performing all the dances that we've been working on. And I also heard you guys have a clinic. Can you tell me a little bit about that? So basically, we're going to be teaching little kids dances and performing them at the football game on September 19th. So if you have a little sibling, make sure they join. That sounds like so much fun. Do you guys have any shout outs? Mr. Brisco, period two. Miss King, period two. Clara, in period two. And with that, I'll send it back to the anchors at the desk. <laughs> Thank you, Leah and Frosh Dance. Teachers and students, would you like to submit an announcement? P fill out the form on chstv.com slash announcement. The Lancer Locker is in need of new packaged personal hygiene products as well as shelf-stable foods and school supplies. Items can be dropped off at the front office in the basket. Taking a break from announcements, we have AJ live in the studio with robotics. AJ? Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm AJ Rebeth, here live with robotics. So what is robotics? Yeah, so robotics is a competition club where, representing Carlsbad High School, we've got three different teams that go against other teams in our area, and if you make it far enough in the season, the entire world, with some hardcore engineering robots, like pictured here. And for that, we just meet pretty often, build robots, and then go and beat them. Awesome. And what do you guys do in robotics? Uh, there are multiple different ro roles in robotics. Some people design and build the robot, some people program the robot, and some people don't even have to touch the robot because they focus on community outreach. That's great. And what does your schedule look like? Um, our first informational meeting is next Tuesday at lunch in room 2008. Um, after that, we're meeting Tuesdays and Thursdays after school. Sounds great. Thank you guys for coming on. I'll send it back to the anchors. Make sure to go check out robotics. Football season is here. First home game is this Friday, August 30th versus Palos Verdes at 7 p.m. Make sure to follow at Carlsbad High School on Instagram for the full schedule. Interested in joining Science Olympiad? Stop by the booth at the club fair on September 4th or see Mr. Packer in 3110. Looking to promote your new or existing club? Email the information to chstv.com slash announcement or see Ms. Cohn during brunch in room 5105. Moving on, Tava is on location at the Oceanside Pier. Tava, take it away. What's up Carlsbad? I'm here at the Oceanside Pier today to talk a little bit about the Labor Day Swim. So basically the Labor Day Swim is about a one mile swim uh, that uh, a lot of swimmers from all around America come to compete in because this is the longest annual swim on the West Coast. So the swim basically begins here at the Oceanside Pier on Labor Day at 5.30 a.m. and it goes all the way until noon. Um, so if you'd like to come out and check it out or even participate in it, just make sure to do some research on the Labor Day Swim at the Oceanside Pier or just come out here from any time from 5.30 a.m. to noon to come check out the swimmer swimming right here. Uh, thank you so much. I'm Tava Valenti, and I'll send it back to the anchors at the desk. Thank you, Tava. For our last break in the announcements, Ivana is on the magic window giving us an update on monkeypox. Yes, thank you, Brody, and good morning, Carlsbad. I'm Ivana Saotomo, reporting to you in front of the magic window, and as some of you didn't know, there has been a new outbreak of monkeypox. This new strain of monkeypox symptoms consists of chills, swollen lymph nodes, fever, muscle aches, fatigue, and rash development. However, these symptoms are very mild, making it harder to detect and easier to spread. With that being said, some schools in the U.S. have decided to shut down for certain periods of time in order to avoid the spread as much as possible. Lastly, monkeypox can be found anywhere in your body, but it only can be caught through physical contact. With that being said, Lancers, again, if you do come across any of these symptoms, just make sure to stay home and stay safe. Thank you, Ivana. Next up, we have a story on a local woman who dedicates her time to cleaning the public beaches here in Carlsbad. Let's take a look. Dawn devotes her time to cleaning the beach, not because it's exciting, but because she wants to preserve the coast for future generations. It's not fun, it's really hard, and it's gross, but I keep going. Looks like a great story. Make sure to tune in tomorrow for that piece. For students who need extra help in their math classes, the Math Tutoring Lab is available Monday through Friday every morning before school in room 7203. If you need any help with math, make sure you go check that out, and make sure to have a great day, Lancers. Bye.